friends hello i believe all of you are aware uh, that uh, with amendments in general instruction to preparation of financial statements now whenever we are preparing a balance sheet or statement of profit and loss it has become a necessity for us to convert these financial figures either into the hundreds or into thousands or into lakhs or into crores or into millions depending upon the total income now it, there is no choice it has to be done if it is a company so how to deal with that situation let me discuss that thing in this video we'll be learning how to convert i believe most of us are preparing this financial statement in excel sheets so what kind of formula we'll be using in excel so that these figures can be automatically converted into hundreds thousands uh, millions crores lakhs etc etc we'll be learning here and if you have already prepared a financial statement which is there which is in absolute numbers if the figures are in absolute numbers practically friends that has become a working paper for us that has now these numbers has to be converted into these formats uh let me share my screen with you right now give me a second for that just some basic just uh, basic things let us discuss here so this slide it shows that the figures appearing in the financial statements shall be rounded up earlier friends when it was a optional provision the rounding of we are doing on the basis of total on the basis of turnover but now we have to round up the figures on the basis of total income instead of turnover if you look at the table which is appearing before you uh, you will be able to appreciate that if the total income is less than 100 crore rupees then the company has option he can convert this financial statement figures to nearest hundreds thousands lakhs or millions or decimal there so mandatorily he has to convert these figures either into hundreds thousands lakhs or millions or decimal there and in case the total income is more than or equal to 100 crore then you see it says the rounding up has to be done into lakhs millions crores or decimals that means this company where their total income is more than 100 crore they cannot uh, present a financial statement where the financial figures are in hundreds thousands they cannot do it only in lakhs millions and crores and earlier uh this basis of the surrounding of was to uh, turn number now instead of turn number the rounding has of has to be done on the basis of total income so it may be necessary now to understand what is the difference between total income and the turn number so if you refer to section 2 clause 19 of the companies amendment act 2017 the turn number means the gross amount of revenue which is recognized in the profit and loss account from sales supply distribution of goods or on account of services rendered or both by a company during a financial year that means if you see these are we are talking about operational incomes here but now the basis is not turnover but total income total income means it includes this operational revenue as well as other incomes for example if a particular company is having interest income now interest income will be included in the total income and on that basis will be deciding how this financial statement figures should be rounded up or maybe some miscellaneous income is there so all this income should be added to arrive at the total income and on that basis will be decided again okay, how to do the rounding up this is what i'm showing you right now this is the earlier provision right if you see here it is talking about the rounding up this is there was an option and there there is an option that the figures may be rounded up and uh, on the basis of turnover now it has been amended the may has been substituted with sal that means there is no choice you have to do it and the turnover is replaced with total income and one more thing once a unit of measurement is used it shall be used uniformly in the financial statement that means throughout the financial statement you have to use same kind of rounding rounding up 
Now this, you can see, this is the amendment. You see the word may shall be substituted with shall, and the turn number is to be substituted with total income. You can have a look at this amendment if you want. Now friends, how we'll be doing it in Excel sheets? I'm showing you some formula, you see, we'll be using this formula. You can see this is, let us say, normal number. It has to be converted into hundreds. If you convert into hundreds, it should look like this. If you convert into thousands, it should look, look like this. If you are going to convert into lakhs, it should look like this. If you are going to convert into millions, it should look like this. And these are the formula, formula in the sense we'll cost, we are going to customize those uh, cells in the Excel sheet so that automatically these numbers will be converted. You see, for hundreds, we'll be using this formula. Zero front slash dot zero zero for thousands has zero dot zero zero comma. If you want to convert it into lakhs, we have to customize the numbers into like this zero front slash front slash point zero zero comma. And if you want to convert it into millions, has zero point zero zero comma comma. We have to remember, we have to deal with this now. So what I am going to do now, I am, let me stop sharing this screen. Let me take you to an Excel screen to explain how to deal with this. Uh, just to, uh, give me one more second again. Now, yeah, now I, you are able to see, let us say this is a financial statement of a company, which is prepared, this you see amounts are in rupees, that means they are in absolute number. And this is for the year ended 31st March, 2022 and friends uh, we cannot do it we have to convert because for the financial year 21 22 onwards we have to mandatorily convert it into this thing hundred thousands etc depending upon the total income now how to do it to it let us say this same numbers i'm writing same number i'm writing it here okay let me first convert this this is it's in absolute numbers this is in thousands, this is in lakhs, this is in millions. But how this is done, I'm going to show you. First, I'm converting everything into absolute number. Now, you see, same all these figures, the same figure which is appearing here, you see. I, am, I have converted into absolute numbers. Okay. Let us say now I first let... Uh, let me show you how to convert it into 1000. So friends, what you can do, we have to customize this cell. So click on this cell, then go to cell format. Cell format, what you can do, you can right click. You can see format cells, you'll be getting a screen like this. Right click, format cells, and then custom. You can find a screen like this. Else you can apply a shortcut. Control one. If you straight place to press control one, you can find out this screen. Screen is visible now. Okay. Now you see what I'm going to do. For if I want to convert it into thousands. Thousands, you see, this is the formula has zero dot double zero comma. Now, once this screen is opening, format cells, click here under the customs. Here you can find here it is written type. Under this type box, whatever is there, you delete it. Now you type our formula. Our formula is as zero dot double zero and comma. Okay. Now click OK. You see numbers are converted into thousands. Now, once it is done, then what you can do, again, click on this cell, go to Format Painter, and wherever you want, paint it. You see, these numbers will be automatically converted into wherever you want. You want to go to Format Painter, and these numbers will be converted into thousands, you see. Throughout the financial statement, you can do it. Again, I am clicking here, going to Format Painter. Let us say this thing I want to convert it. You see, it is automatically converted. So similarly for lakhs, not a big deal. 
same thing also you can do it i am showing you here again for lux if you want to convert this is the cell let me uh, press control one the screen is opening for lux you see under the type i'm typing my formula how to customize the cell zero front slash point double zero comma okay now apply you see it is converted into lux okay and now if you want to convert any number into lux click here go to format painter then do it it is converted into lux so this is so simple other formula i believe you'll be able to try you can convert the numbers into hundreds millions if you want i think this particular video will be useful at this point of time thank you very much thanks a lot